What you got, Troy? Uh, you know what, y'all? I ain't even gonna lie, I failed the test. I told my family, I told my staff, I told my team, members of my Muslim community that I wasn't going to say shit else about the nigga boots. I just seen the shit him with him and old boy and that shit just like struck a nerve. But that's my word. From now on, I ain't going to say shit about the nigga. Zero. I'm going to stay off all the bullshit. I'm going to stop trolling. I think I got my get back. You know, I just was mad that he did all that shit to me while I was in prison. And, you know, I got out. And, you know, we went, we couldn't talk and we couldn't meet up and shit. So I was just like, fuck it. Nigga ain't my friend no way. So I might as well just keep going on and on. But at my word, I'm going to delete this shit off my story. And I'm going to just leave this shit alone. That's my word. Now, the nigga say something. Negative to me or some shit like that, I might, you know, say something back or respond. But I'm hoping that I'm going to just promote number positivity because there's a whole bunch of real niggas that fuck with him and it's a whole bunch of real niggas that fuck with me. Now, anything I have done in the past in the interviews or, you know, within his old pussy rap shit, you know, that shit kind of surfaced. That I have done in the past, please know that shit the past. But from now on, I ain't saying shit about old boy or goddamn the nigga boots here or any of that. I'm just going to stay on the positive path. At least I'm going to try my hardest to stay on the positive path. Because sometimes these motherfuckers on the internet, they be making me mad. And I don't really got no friends and shit, so I don't got friends to lose.